Welcome to the Toyota Solutions studio. Joining me now is Sonita Alizada. Thank you, Thank you so much for being with Thanks us. Thanks for having me. Sonita is an artist and an activist. She uses music to speak out against child marriage. Now, this has been quite the day for you because you actually opened the Women in the World Summit. You performed Bride for Sale. As you reflect on your journey, what are your thoughts? I mean, did you ever think you would be on the stage of such a prominent summit in New York at Lincoln Center? Um, yes, so I have a dreams book and I have a picture of so many people and I'm performing in front of, of them. So it's a dream come true, <laughs> and, uh, but I didn't know that it's come that soon. So. It's happened quickly, right? Yeah. <laughs> what did it feel like sharing your, your message, your song, with this audience? So, because it's one year, I am keep sharing, sharing my uh, story with others. It's a little bit hard to talk about your own pain, and, but I have to share my story because I was one of a uh, child bride. I was almost a child bride and I want to share my story to let the world know about child marriage and it's not fun but I have to do it. Yeah, yeah. Since your song went viral, it was on YouTube, so many people have seen it, what have been the reactions that you've received? Fortunately, uh, I got so many supports from my people, from Afghan people and they accept me as a rapper and I have so many fans from Afghanistan too and I'm happy because I was afraid to say, put this music on YouTube and I thought they're going to tell me you, you can rap your girl and girls are not allowed to sing or rap but <laughs> fortunately now they support me to continue and rap uh, more about women's rights. And also I was afraid of my family yeah. and because they didn't want me to be in any music video. And when my mother, she saw the music video, she called me and she said it was good. She wasn't very excited about that, but it was the biggest change in my life when she said it was good. Did she, under she understood why you did uh, it? Yes, so. <laughs> what else can be done to help give Afghan girls a voice? You're using your voice, literally using your voice, to um, spread the message through your music. But what can other people do? It's not just about Afghan girls because it, it happens in other countries. All over the world. Yeah. And I think I'm just helping them. I'm, help, I'm helping them to know there are other possibilities and they can have a vision for their own futures. And I think people should uh, share their uh, stories with each other to um, raise awareness. And I think we need to work with families to help them, to let them know there are other possibilities and they can have other um, vision for their own daughters. And they know their daughters are available to families and even to society. Are you able to speak with your family much now that you're here in the United States? Um, are you able to share with them what you've been doing and how you're trying to get this message out? Now my uh, relationship with my family is better than before because there was no reason to believe in me. I, I told them I want to be a rapper and then when they saw some uh, of my songs on TVs uh, and they hear from radios, they believed and now they support me and my choices and every day I have to talk to them <laughs> and um, I have a few nephews and nieces and some of them they want to become rappers. What do you tell them? 
Um, just I'm excited. I'm happy to see them. They rap, rap my songs. They do. Yeah, so <laughs> it's a little bit weird to me, but I'm very excited when they rap my songs. Tell me about some of the music that you're working on now. Mm -hmm. You're working on new music, right? Uh, yes, so I'm a student. Right, so you don't have much time. You're <laughs> I'm busy. a student and I have to do my homework as well. Of course. Because I want to go to law school, law school, law and school. it needs more uh, time to get in law school. And, but I'm working on my new songs and also it's about women's rights. And another song I have for uh, Afghan people, for my mm. country. And I'm trying to rap my song, Daughter for Sale, in English okay. as well. Yeah. You say you want to go to law school. It sounds like you have a plan in mind. I'd love to know what it is. <laughs> what, what's your plan so, for what you want to do in the future? Yes, I'm a rapper, but I don't want to be a rapper forever. I want to study law and become a lawyer for women's rights and also use other ways to end child marriage and uh, help other girls all over the world. Do you have friends um, back home who became child brides and are you in touch with them? Um, yes, I have uh, some friends they're in Iran and they're younger than me. Yeah. Two of them are having babies. Yes. Are you able to talk to them? And, and what do you hear about their experiences? Mm -hmm. Is that difficult for you? Uh, it is difficult for me to see the girls who, who, who were talking about their vision, about their vision to become a, uh, someone in future. Now they are having babies and they can't go to a school anymore. Yeah. So it's hard for me to see them now because we promised each other to be someone in the future. Yeah. And now some of them, uh, they can't go to a school anymore. And they stopped going to a school and they, some of them stopped thinking about what they want to be in the future. And yeah, it's hard for me. What's your hope for the future generations of Afghan girls? Um, it's my hope to see all girls, not just Afghan girls, because I'm trying to stop child marriage and it's not just my country. It's they could choose what they want to do and who they want to marry in the future and to keep dreaming to have a vision for their future mm -hmm. because when you have hope you can keep going and continue thank you so much for sharing your thank story you with so us much. thanks